Watching Kentuckiana's News Channel, WHAS 11's Great Steamboat Race, Derby 119. Welcome back to what is perhaps the most competitive Great Steamboat Race in years. It is close. The weather is beautiful. We are getting ready for the turn. Things are great. And of course, that turn is the most important part in the entire Great Steamboat Race. They get to the turn near Six Mile Island, and when they make that turn, they can either gain a lot of time or they can lose a lot of time. The Bell and uses a tugboat to come out and turn her. And a of lot course, of help. the Delta Queen uses bow thrusters. And uh, Doug will fill us in on all of those coming up, I'm sure. That's right. He has the best seat in the house to watch the turn and, of course, knows all about it. And um, the Belle of Louisville on the Indiana side, the Delta Queen on the Kentucky side of the Ohio River. Doug, how are they doing? Getting very close, uh, Gary and Melissa. You know, I'm getting a little tired of you guys making fun of me about the turn. Yeah, I guess you all sit back there and laugh because you know I'm stuck up here for the next uh, 15 minutes or so to narrate it. Well... Uh, don't race away from your TV sets. It's not going to take 15 minutes. Uh, we're about a minute away from the turn. Let's uh, set the scene for you right now. There's the Belle of Louisville. It is on the Indiana side of uh, Six Mile Island. Uh, I'd say a length to two lengths ahead of the Delta Queen. Uh, for historical perspective, let me point out that we're going into the turn extremely early compared to past years. Usually we hit the turn right up straight on the money at 6 o'clock. Well, by my watch, we're about quarter till, so we're in a, into a 45-minute race so far, and the Bell of Louisville is coming right up on this turn. Let's tell you a little bit about the tugboat. It's to the left of your screen. Uh, John Pennington, the photographer, hanging out the door up here with me. He's going to get a nice shot of it. Uh, these are sort of the unsung heroes, but uh, we're going to give a plug to the McBride fleet of Prospect. Uh, that's their tugboat down there, and they're in their second year of turning the Belle of Louisville in the great steamboat race. The service, the tug service that did it for years, believe it or not, last year had to drop out because their liability insurance is now too expensive because of all things the Exxon Valdez oil spill. How all that translates to the Ohio River, do not ask me. All right, now let's get a tighter shot from Sky 11 of the Belle of Louisville because it is coming very close to the tugboat. And what you're going to see basically here is once the bell uh, gets right up to the tug. On your TV screen, it's a you lose a little perspective. The boat is actually closer than it appears. But the tug is going to come right up there next to the bell, and it looks it's going to look like a nudge to you, but the people on boat will tell you that it's actually a jolt, and they all hold on to the railings, and they have a lot of fun. This is probably the, the funnest uh, part of the uh, great steamboat race for the folks on the Bell of Louisville. Real quickly, before we go to the turn, let's take one more look at the lengths that the Bell has ahead of the Delta Queen. I'd say we're three to four lengths ahead in this great steamboat race as we get to uh, approach the turn, which should take, oh, I'd say about 10 minutes, uh, excuse me, two minutes. Here we go, so let's focus right on the Bell, and you're gonna see that tug uh, jump into action here in just a couple of seconds. Last year, uh, we had extremely cold, cloudy conditions. Uh, we didn't have much of a crowd down here. We've got people lined up all along the riverbanks. It's quite uh, colorful down below us. And um, last year also, the Ohio River was not nearly as choppy and the current not nearly as bad. And so the race ended in record time last year, believe it or not. It was a one hour and 13 minutes. Here we go. Here's the big turn with the uh, tug getting ready to go right up next to the Belle of Louisville. Again, as I was saying, the race was extremely fast last year because the river was so calm. One hour and 13 minutes, that was the fastest race time in almost its 31-year history. Uh, this year, we're running a little ahead on the turn, but the current has slowed both the boats down, so it's going to be the uh, trip back where we see uh, who makes up the time. But uh, right now, the Belle of Louisville is sitting pretty. So if you believe that the race is rigged, like we all sort of assume, but uh, we'd like to have fun with this race anyway, it is the Bell's year to win, and we're going to see how hard she chugs down river. If she doesn't try very hard, then you know the race is rigged. If she does try pretty hard, then uh, who knows, maybe there's some hope for good old competition. Uh, take a look directly above us here at Sky 11 right now. We've got a bird's eye view of the turn as it goes around the buoy and the river. The Delta Queen is not even in position yet. She is not even making her turn. The Bell's paddle wheel now slowing down. Uh, to aid the big tug uh, from the bride fleet to swing her around. This, uh, this happens when you're uh, one, of the, uh, one, one of the few authentic steamboats left in the country. That's the Belle of Louisville, the pride of all the steamboats uh, in the steamboat community, I guess. Uh, she is one of the authentic boats with a real working paddle wheel. 
There you go from the ground. A shot of the Bell of Louisville. That's a that's a beautiful picture. I believe that's our photographer Pete Longton, who's down by the water tower, looking directly up river. That was a beautiful shot uh, of the turn. Here we go. Now the Bell of Louisville almost looking back directly down toward downtown Louisville. The bow coming around with the help of that tug and the bell getting ready to point and race right back down toward the city. Of course, the current is going to help this boat greatly as uh, they take off to try to win the 31st annual Great Steamboat Race. Now we're gonna swing Sky 11 around real quick and show you the Delta Queen because we are finished with the Bell of Louisville. That boat is heading out. The Delta Queen is directly below us. Delta Queen directly below us, and it is barely easing into the turn, as you can see from this uh, dead-eye view from Sky 11. The big Delta Queen with her bow thrusters. This is the most effort I've seen the Queen put out in this race. It just, uh, it's, it's been a cakewalk for the Bell of Louisville so far. I don't think the Queen's really tried very hard, but uh, then again, that's my opinion from up here at about 1,200 feet in the helicopter. Now, it's, it's very uh, possible that the, the Queen can overtake the Belle of Louisville. It's done it before on the trip back down. But as we can see, uh, looking at the Belle of Louisville, well, I see a lot of smoke coming out of those stacks. That means uh, the Belle is trying pretty hard and is gonna try to get down there very fast. Something about the Queen uh, that I found quite amazing when I was looking over some facts today, the boat itself weighs 3,000 tons. But that big paddle wheel on the Queen alone is 44 tons in weight. And uh, she can only go about 12 miles per hour. And that's what she'll do for the race, so 12 miles per hour when she opens everything up. Coming up to Louisville from New Orleans, and that's where the Delta Queen is based, not Cincinnati, but New Orleans, uh, she was doing about three to seven miles per hour. So there we go. Great steamboat race, uh, possibly a half hour away from ending. If that's the case, we're going to have another fast year. But the 31st year may just well go to the Belle of Louisville. She's about 10 boat lengths ahead after the turn. And that's where you need to be, especially with the current behind you. We're going to track the boats downriver. For now, this is Doug Prophet in Sky 11 as we approach 6 o'clock. Gary and Melissa? All right, Doug. You did a fine job as usual. Thanks <laughs> so much. That's right. Thank Bye. you, Doug, very much. And also this year, the uh, Bell of Louisville has a diesel-powered generator aboard. And so when they're going upstream, and especially in that turn, that diesel-powered generator is taking over the performance of the uh, steam-powered generator. So all of that can go toward the race. And the diesel takes care of the electricity. So that's another new feature that the bell added this year, maybe that's helping too. That's what you call an advantage. Yes. <laughs> and uh, there's a balloon in the air. I believe that's the Early Times balloon. A very pretty picture over the Ohio River this afternoon for the 31st annual Great Steamboat Race and perfect weather for it. <laughs>